Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast Distribution, and today we're going to talk a little bit about this Yuan High Tech 4 channel encoder. It has four SDI or four HDMI ports on the back for bringing in four different sources and encoding them to H.264. I wasn't entirely being honest with you when I said it was a four channel encoder because it actually has a fifth channel which lets you encode it as a quad split picture in picture or using it as a rudimentary switcher to switch between any one of those four channels. So the fifth channel can actually act as a basic switcher. The unit also has the ability to record. With this button on the front we can press it and anything plugged into this USB 3.0 port will record in MP4, MPEG TS, AVI, or MOV. So you can record your entire show to a USB drive. Uh, it has the ability to do snapshots. It can turn the stream on and off with the touch of a button. The fifth channel mix down can also be outputted via this output and via this HDMI. It also has a USB 2.0 on the back for a keyboard and mouse, and it has uh, RS-232 and RS-485 control for integrating into larger systems, and of course an Ethernet port here. The system is, in, is capable of doing RTSP over UDP, RTMP, MPEG TS over IP and HLS. So it's got a lot of different options. So with that, let's take a look at what the software side of this looks like when it's hooked up. So we've hooked up the quad channel encoder with three different SDI inputs, and then we've taken the HDMI out so that uh, I can show that to you, what the output looks like. We've hooked it up um, via ethernet and given it power, and we're gonna take a look at the UI for it via the web web based encoder so we've logged into the unit and i'll take you on a quick tour of the ui the system is capable of right off the bat uh, bringing in either sdi or ip stream as its input source which is a really important note to make because that also means that this unit is a decoder and you can set up a pair of these to talk to each other and uh, behave like switchers, sending information back and forth, uh, making this great for a lot of different applications. Right now we have the different um, inputs set up as SDI. So these four inputs are set up as SDI. And then these are the different specifications for um, the channels that are hooked up. Currently, all three of them are getting uh, 1920 by 1080 P. One of them is getting uh, 1080 P 60. Two of them are getting 1080 P 30. Next down the menu list here is the encoder. And this is how your video is being encoded. And this is channels one, two, three, four, and program. And we have a lot of options here uh, as far as resolution and frame rate. Generally, uh, you'll want to leave them the same as the input. But if you have specific needs that mean that you need to change the resolution to something tiny, like you're sending out, you're only planning on sending out a 320 by 240 stream, then that is where you make these changes. There's also a sub encoder for each input, which means that you can send out a program and a proxy. So you can have your, uh, your large input and you can have a smaller input and at a lower frame rate. So each input can have different resolutions and frame rates based on its main encoder and sub encoder. And keep in mind, there's five of these in this system. So there's four channels of encoding and each has a main and sub and then there's the fifth channel for program. So there's technically a possible total of 10 streams that can come out of this. The recording tab lets you decide um, what the encoding source is uh, if you want channel one to be recording the, either the main encoder or the sub encoder. So if you wanted to record, say, that low res proxy, for example, you could change that here. Um, this is also where the, um, the the file name is being created. So if you look closely here, uh, this says channel one, this says channel two, three, four, and program. What type are we recording? Are we recording MP4s? Are we recording AVIs, MPEG TS, or MOV? What duration? Uh, unlimited, 60, 35, uh, or one minute. And then streaming. This is where we can set up um, what is being streamed, the kind of stream type. So we have the options of RTSP, RTMP, MPEG TS, or HLS. What port, uh, if you need to enter in a username and password, and what the final URL is going to be uh, once it's configured. Snapshot, um, what are we capturing? What's the file name uh, and format that it's going to be captured to? 
it, the system has a basic CG. Uh, it's capable of doing OSD, so you can enter in some rudimentary text on each input. So you can make uh, little labels for your inputs. Um, the program output, this is um, the different options for it and we also have the same controls on the front here and I'm going to switch our um, input for a second so that you can see what the um, output so I'm going to use the system as a rudimentary switcher right now so here's camera 2 camera 3 camera 4 so these are the three cameras that we have and then uh, we can also put them in quad split so here is our four cameras or we can put them into um, this mode where we've got three small on the side, but we can keep moving them around so that if you need to adjust which one is being the dominant one, uh, you can just adjust that on the front without ever having to go into the web UI. Same thing for picture in picture. What are we looking at? So here's a great example of what, how the picture in picture functions. And then uh, that is the different, um, those are the different OSD functions. So here's, uh, I'm going to pop back to our UI here and finish this off. Um, this is the tab which lets you decide what the program output is doing. So there's an SDI and HDMI. You can have the HDMI be program out or a multi-viewer. And then a couple of just important things uh, like the system specification, what the password is. Um, if you're doing static IP or DHCP, um, you can format your USB drive. And then last of all is status. How is the system performing? What's going on with each of the, the different inputs? So that is a really cursory explanation of what the quad channel encoder does. It does so much more than just encoding four channels. There's a lot of value packaged up in this system. Again, it comes in uh, SDI and HDMI flavors, and you can do so many different things with it. The use cases are pretty much limitless. And if you have any questions on this unit, please feel free to reach out to me, eric at usbroadcast.co, or give us a call at 617 848 Wait, no.